Okay, in this simple Blender tutorial, what I'd like to do is show you how to take a whole bunch of objects and convert them into a single object. These objects all have vertex coloring information. So these color attributes here, um, is COL, as I've colored each of these, some of them have vertex color attributes and other ones have face corner. And the problem ends up being, if you want to join all these into a single object for baking, so if I were to duplicate this along the x-axis, and then control J, you'll notice that not everything transfers over because you end up with a name collision on COL and COL for one being a vertex and one being a face corner. And one thing you can do is you can end up converting um, them all to vertex or all to face corners before you join. Or what you can do is you can do something different. You can make use of geometry nodes to create the single object and it converts everything over to a single color attribute. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And I just take all these objects and I move them with the M key into a new collection. So I create a new collection and I moved them all into temp lower body. So that's a collection that's selected. And I can just come in and add in a plane. And on the plane, just give it a geometry nodes modifier. And say new. And open up. And if you haven't converted over you can just go over to Geometry Nodes Editor. And this is a really simple setup. You're going to Shift A and type in Collection. Grab the Collection Info node. And you'll want to select the Temp Lower Body Collection or whatever the collection is that you're using. And then you're going to want to realize the instances that are coming from that collection. So type in Instance on your search. And we're looking for Realize Instances node. So when you connect those in, you'll notice that you get a little icon here and it basically tells you that the collection contains the current object. So I just have to move my plane out of the collection that I'm instancing from. So I just move it back to the scene collection. And now I've got my plane object that's been converted. So the input geometry has been discarded and we're creating geometry from each of the items. Um, they're all becoming instances and then they end up becoming geometry. And now I've got one object and the object is getting the color attribute information as soon as I apply the modifier. So if I go down to apply and I come in and look at this, I get the color attributes and it's storing them in face corner information. And now I can take this over and use it as a high poly baking template for my low poly bake. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll catch you on the next one.